Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So welcome to another makeup tutorial. Today we are doing a cool toned New Year's Eve inspired makeup look. As you can see, I'm doing the turquoise with a little bit of glitter on the top and then a little bit of glitter on the bottom and keeping it real simple on the lips. A lot of the products that I'm using today are new products that I'm testing out, things like that. For example, today I'm gonna to be using the L'Oreal True Match Cushion Foundation. I didn't show it to you on the video because I am going to do a separate video on this. And I also recently picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus um, Makeup Setting Spray, which is another new product. So I am going to be testing them out in this video, but I will have, maybe for Waste or Worth It Wednesday, um, a review on some new drugstore products. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do, and let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, welcome back. So as you can see, I already have my foundation and this is dewy. This is actually a new foundation that I'm trying out and I really like it. It's the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion. I am in the color N4 and as you can see, my face is glowing. I really like it, but I think if you're oily, you might not. I will have a review soon. Now, I did prime my eyelids, so we're going to jump right into the look. I'm taking this mustardy baby poop color. <laughs> That's literally what it reminds me of. Um, This is by Luxie Beauty, and it is called Wheatness. These are some new eyeshadows that I recently picked up for Cyber Monday, and oh my god, these are so buttery. They're so blendable. You guys need these in your life. I will have all the info of where you can buy them. I absolutely love Luxie Beauty eyeshadows. You guys know this. So I'm just taking a fluffy brush. This is by Beauty Junkies, and I'm just blending that back and forth so I don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to move on to my second color. I really didn't know what I was going with, so I just kind of winged it. This is another Luxie Beauty eyeshadow. This whole palette is whole, um, only Luxie Beauty, and it's called Graphite. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's a gray color, really, really pretty, but I'm just using it as another base. Now my third color is going to go all over the lid, and this color is called... Give me one second. It's called Giggity, and it is really pretty, like... It, ha it looks more blue on camera, but it's more of a turquoise. It's really pretty, but I wanted to use this as a base for the next color that I will be using. And I will be showing you a clip in just one second. So make sure to blend everything as always, because sometimes I've noticed that if I don't blend as I go, I sometimes can get really harsh lines. So, yeah. Blending is key. Now I'm going to move on to this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. I don't remember the name, but I will have it in the description bar down below. I feel like these work best with either your fingers or with a synthetic brush. And this is pretty much the same color as Giggity by Luxie Beauty, but it has more of a like pearl finish with a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of glitter. I'm going to go back into that blending brush and I'm going to blend everything out. I didn't pick up any additional color. I'm just really blending out the edges again so we don't have any harsh lines between the transition colors that we use. Now I'm going to take some glitter. This is called Peacock by um, Glitter Injections and I'm just applying my e.l.f. glitter primer and I'm pressing it onto the center of the lid. I'm not going to go too crazy with this but I did... I did... I did... <laughs> Mexican problems. Um, I did want a pop of glitter on there so I just added it to really the center of my eyes and I think it looks really pretty with this color. It has some purple in it as you can see. Now I'm going to use the Anastasia um, Cream Contour Palette and I'm taking that banana shade. I just got this for Christmas and this was my second time trying it. I'm still not sure how I feel about it. It's, I feel like it, right now my skin is really dry, so I feel like it emphasizes my dryness. So if you guys have any tips on how to use this, I know that some people like to mix oil with it, but I don't know, I have to yet try that. So yeah, I'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes, and I'm going to blend it out with a beauty blender that is damp. I would suggest for you to damp it a little bit more because it is a little 
hard to blend it out. In my personal opinion, it was a little bit hard. But after that, I did set it with my NYC translucent powder. I love, love, love this stuff. I've been using it nonstop since I bought it. I just feel like it's very finely milled and it doesn't leave me looking cakey at all. Now I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner and you can take any black eyeliner that you have. This is my favorite. It's by LA Girl and it's a um, gel eyeliners I believe in the color black and I'm just smudging that out. Since it is New Year's we definitely want to go all out and look super glamorous. So I'm just smudging that out with no additional product, just the eyeliner by itself. Now I'm going to take the second color from that Anastasia Contour Palette and I'm going to contour my cheekbones. And again, because it is New Year's, you kind of either, you know, go all out. So I did go ahead and apply that and then I'm blending that out with this Cibolene brush by e.l.f. This is my favorite brush to either contour or blend out any bronzer because it just really does the job for you. I take all over um, my forehead or my hairline and I make sure that I blend everything nicely. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. mineral bronzer and it's in Cabo Cabana and I'm going to take some of the new brushes that I recently got from Luxie Beauty and this is their Dreamcatchers collection. It is so pretty. I love these brushes. I'm going to take another blush and this is by Tarte Cosmetics. It was some of their limited edition blushes from last year. Um, I will have the name down below and I'll see if I can find any. But really anything that you have works fine. You definitely don't need to use whatever I have to achieve this look. Now for highlight, I'm going to take my current obsession. This is, um, it's a highlight from ColourPop and it is so pretty. It's like a cream highlight but it dries to like a a powder finish and I really really like how it goes with my skin it has a gold undertone now for my favorite part is the highlights this is another Luxie Beauty highlight and this is I believe La Belle and it's one of the new um, collections so after that I'm just popping on some eyelashes these are goddess by Coco Lashes I have been re-obsessed with them I stopped using them for a while but I am back with them and I really like how they look with this look. I skipped the eyeliner because I really wanted everything to pop and then I did apply some lipsticks. I will have the names down below and I just applied some makeup setting spray and after that you are all done with this look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what other looks you want to see, different colors, etc. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.